President Bola Tinobu on Monday approved the renewed Hope Infrastructure Fund to bridge Nigeria's yearly funding gap of $25 billion. The new initiative will be domiciled in the presidency. The federal government also insists ransom wasn't paid to secure the release of the Kuruga school children. CBS News, how our state house correspondent Femi Akonde has detailed. President Bola Tinubu arrives to chair this week's Federal Executive Council meeting. On his mind is how to bridge the country's huge infrastructure gap. In 2020, a global credit rating firm, Moody, estimated that Nigeria will need to invest three trillion US dollars over the next 30 years to plug the national infrastructure gap. Our Renew Hope Infrastructure Development Fund unifies efforts, streamlining project delivery for maximum impact. It accelerates infrastructure development, sparking economic dynamism nationwide. The Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy announced that Nigeria is now a member of the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development that focuses on agribusiness, infrastructure, transport and many other sectors. And there was support from agriculture, from the um, a Japanese international cooperation agency funding of a national agricultural growth scheme project, essentially um, around 15 billion uh, yen for the agricultural sector. The Bola Tinubu administration is moving on with its plan to foster inclusion for youth. At this meeting of the Federal Executive Council, approval was granted to restructure and institutionalize the Nigerian Youth Investment Fund. As part of uh, approvals we've received um, under the NE framework is the establishment of or the commencement of the presidential initiative on youth enterprise clusters. The Minister of Information and National Orientation told State House correspondents about efforts by President Bola Tinubu to ensure security and safety of citizens. But the federal government insists ransom was not paid to secure the release of the Kuriga school children. It is the official position of government that, and I announced here last week that ransom will not be tolerated, ransom will not be encouraged, ransom will not be paid by government to rescue this. The Minister of Works got the approval of the Federal Executive Council for the construction of 28 roads and bridges. And approved a total of 28 roads and bridges um, and stepped down one project. The project uh, I requested that should be stepped down so that I can uh, look at it again. The Renewed Hope Infrastructure Development Fund is a project that will be a priority for the Tinubu administration as it will promote growth, enhance local value addition, create employment opportunities and stimulate technological innovation and exports. Themi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja.